the wage growth data today in the jobs report, is it, is it a be-all, end-all? Frame what you do with that number. It's not. We've, we at PIMCO talked to a number of former Federal Reserve officials, even current <laughs> ones, and they emphasize oh, that come what's... Come on, you got a direct well, conduit into Janet Yellen. Well, and we do. Um, ben Bernanke, <laughs> perhaps, uh, may be a friend. Um, we, the employment cost index is what they emphasize is more important. It's a quarterly statistics. It was released last week. It was disappointingly weak at 2.4 percent year over year. It was thought after the first quarter when it rose eight tenths of a percent, the most in 10 years, that perhaps there was some momentum building on the wage front. There wasn't. And so it's not the be all and end all. The market's looking at other indicators, but it would take it seriously because markets still think it's the gauge the Fed's looking at. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, the wage figure, it's a big question in the bond market uh, today, is whether or not there is a Phillips curve, whether or not the relationship between growth, wages, and inflation exists. Perhaps it was a, a product of a bygone era developed in the late 1950s. Perhaps it was just a theory for the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. And when one looks back hundreds of years, and there, you could find long stretches, centuries, where there was no Phillips curve, and perhaps there is none. Now, let's We're bring all in, wondering.